Move the mouse here, and today's episode is a long one. It clocks in right about 55 minutes, so if it's a little too long for you, there's actually a good spot in the middle you can break around the 25-30 minute mark when I start working on the highway. I hope that you'll stay tuned through the whole thing. Let me know if it's just way too much in the comments down below. I know 20 minutes is kind of the sweet spot for a lot of people, but sometimes there's a lot to share, and, and today's one of those episodes. So hope you enjoy it. Hope you stay tuned. There's something funny for you at the end. But with that out of the way, let's kick off the Let's Play. What's going on? Move the mouse here back in City Skylines. Let's play season nine, episode number eight. Sorry, that's a stupid joke. I didn't actually check a paper. I didn't have it written down. I did have a paper on my desk, though. Um, I'm just I'm being silly right out of the gate today. Uh, yeah, we hit 10,000 in the last episode. I just I, I'm already whipping the camera around like crazy. I just uh flatten kind of our demand for a minute by borrowing some money with the old tax trick but uh, our residential demand is is creeping up fast so i'm gonna round out a couple more of these neighborhoods and i thought we could do something a little different over here towards the edge maybe we can do something like that and maybe we can hook this in this way and then maybe one street off of this maybe that links up over here somewhere like that I don't know let's fill that in with residential and maybe get one more one or two more blocks in behind this it's a little lopsided that's okay we're building we're building off of grids elsewhere um, but yeah we'll have to take a look at our milestones I don't think we're gonna hit another milestone in this episode Come down, let's just come down to here. And maybe we can come up this way a little bit. So let's do this. We'll come out to where this kind of lines up and do that. Now let's get at least one more street over here. And maybe connect it at a bit of an odd angle like that. It does really, the terrain starts to dip down an awful lot over here. Um, and maybe we'll fill this in with a little bit of water, but not too, too much. Maybe we should start to do that just to see what it looks like. It won't hold the water well, but just for the heck of it, we're gonna break our pipes out and cover the rest of this area. Maybe we'll throw a water outlet over this way too. Connect that just to cover it. Can we get all that in one. I think we can, that's good. So let's zone that off. Uh, mostly residential demand right now, and that's definitely what all this should be. Because it's kind of tucked in behind everything else. Where can we get more commercial on this strip over this way? Let's do that. Let's do a little, we got a little office over here. We'll do a little commercial block. I think we were gonna make that a park at one point. <laughs> still can be the, the space in behind it absolutely still can be a park we've got enough dead zone in here we can kind of fill that in we have this old abandoned house historical house maybe we'll clear off a little bit in the corner there uh but let's get let's get these people moved in we on three times speed let's do that make things happen a little faster in the city and then we'll try and come up with a game plan for what to do next Let's see, we want to fill all that in, right? So let's just use the selection tool. Did not mean to do that one. That one we can get rid of. Everything else, that's totally fine. Uh, and we'll get, I guess, these couple, these couple set up like that. Um, maybe some more commercial across the street over here, since, since it's what we need, apparently. Um, and we need to start thinking about expanding that way. We need to start thinking about what tiles we buy. Uh, before we do that, let's do a quick check. 16,000 for our next milestone. So we've got to move a, a lot of people in, right? That gets us a different college uh, campus type. We haven't done any custom college yet. It'll get us another area, which uh, we already are behind the times on. Crematorium water treatment. Okay. 
So that's stuff we're working towards. What did, what did we get that we didn't uh, put on? I, I think, you know, we've unlocked uh, a lot of these hubs. We could definitely look at that. Uh, somebody pointed out in the comments that I was saying inner city. And I, I don't I don't think I was. I think I just I, I mush mouth it a little bit. Inner city. That's that's me saying inner city. Inter city. I'm just I don't enunciate the T when I say it, but I am saying it. Inner city is different from inner city. They just sound exactly the same when I say it. I don't know what's up with this stupid little row of houses, but something happened with the zoning over here. So let's fill that in. That was kind of odd. Uh, play, review. Electric, we're going to have to probably worry about next. Water, we're good. Fire safety, always good to uh, see what's going on over here. So we, we could probably use a, uh, a station over this way. We'll put it right in the middle. We'll get a little bit of a buffer on either side. So that, that does a pretty good job over there. Where are we light over this way? Can we get one? Uh, that is not an access road, huh? Let's do this. So they're complaining about not enough customers, not enough educated workers. Two birds, one stone. Got a little bit of abandonment happening. Let's see. Are these all complaining about the same thing? Not enough educated. Oops. <laughs> Problem solved. Not enough educated workers, right? So uh, as we're working our way through our list, crime's okay. Crime's pretty good. Yep. Uh, healthcare, education is next. That's the important stop. So healthcare, we're definitely a little bit light, but we've only got one sick citizen. So they're far enough away from the pollution, be it noise or actual ground and air and water pollution. So that is okay. We don't have to worry about that too much. Uh, death care, cemetery usage. We've got what four cemeteries. We're pretty good there. So let's talk education for a minute before we worry about expanding our city too, too far. Elementary's got good coverage. A lot of these people just moved in, right? So that's why they, they aren't elementary educated just yet. We could probably use another one or two over here, or maybe we can get away with one kind of right in this neighborhood for now. So let's, let's do that. Let's see what that does to our coverage. Mostly green over there. Maybe one more over here. Maybe one more over there. The elementary schools don't cover a lot of territory. But again, these are just these are people that have moved in recently as of this episode. So should be good there. High school, we're doing pretty good. We've got one over there and one two over there. And these people aren't high school educated yet. Did they move in more recently? Do they not have good elementary coverage over here? They don't have the best elementary code. Maybe we'll do another. We've got money. Maybe we'll get tuck another elementary in somewhere over here. It's really close to that other one, but maybe maybe we do something like like that. We'll have probably some people move in. I'm not going to go clean up all the zoning like this. I mean, I will just because we're right here, but we'll leave a little bit of a buffer for for stuff to exist. Right? You don't want to be right on top of the school property. High school, I think we were good. And then university, technically, we are also good. It's right near the metro stop. So hopefully that's encouraging enough people. And we have the capacity. So we won't we won't worry about that yet. But it is a problem. We need people to get educated. They can't go straight to work. So one little abandoned building here. Wow, there's a lot of stuff happening by that metro station, huh? We should bring this maybe across the street and tunnel it under and bring it up over here somewhere. That might be kind of cool. Maybe we could do that today. Is uh, eat into a couple businesses over here to get this metro connected across the street. Because the more people can move around the city, the more they will get to the right jobs. Okay, we do have power problems. I knew I knew that was coming. And let's make sure it's not budget. Always good to double check. Throws me off every time. Roads are now at the top. I'm pretty sure that used to be at the bottom. Maybe it was underutilized and misunderstood, but still throws me off. 
So we're at 100% for budget on power and water. So what are, what are our options? We can do the solar updraft tower. Expensive, but a dramatic uplift in the amount of electricity we can provide. And it doesn't pollute. So we can just drop it over here and figure out a better spot for it later. This is not where it's staying, but there was a nice open spot in the grid right across from the dump anyways. Uh, it does cause uh, noise pollution, but it doesn't pollute the ground. The nice thing about the updraft tower, if you haven't used it before, the traditional solar power plant that, cover, that comes with the game, built into the base game, I believe, um, that is a nuclear power plant. Solar power plant helps if I highlight the one I'm talking about. Uh, this one doesn't produce power at night. So that can be a liability. The solar updraft tower has batteries that it charges, so it does produce electricity at night, not affected by a day-night cycle. So that can be really useful. Uh, that's part of the Green Cities DLC. Okay, so still educated worker problem. Same thing over here. It's not too widespread, but you can see it is causing some businesses to abandon this. They just don't have enough workers, which gives me pause. Like, I don't want to meet that commercial demand because they're going to have the same problem. So we're going to kind of let this sort itself out for a little bit and let people um, let people get educated and get to work. I want to do a, a little project today, and that is to continue this metro on. We're going to bring it across the street into over here and tunnel it maybe underneath the highway underneath the highway, underneath the high school. So let's try and get that done real quick. So we are gonna have to move some people out. Do we move out commercial? Do we move out residents? I think we move out residents and, and move them out all together so they're not bothered by the noise of this train in their backyard. So let's see, how do we get over, how do we get over here? We're gonna have to break some buildings to do it. So let's do something like that just to come across the street. We're gonna have we're gonna have to break a couple buildings. But we'll come over here. Let me let me go with the straight tool. And we'll come underground. And we'll get rid of that entire block of houses. That's that's totally fine. We'll go into zoning before people move back in, and we're gonna dezone this. I said before people move back in, get out of here. Get, get out of here. All right, so that is now dezoned. Uh, we're gonna break one more building, I think, to make this connection happen. I hope that's not too aggressive and abrupt of a drop. It might be. It might be a little silly. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, can we actually? Does it actually mound up there on that first piece? Let's do this. Let's just get across. So let's put the snapping on as low as possible. As little as possible change to the, the height. Autosave? Okay, thank God. Either that or a crash. I wasn't sure there for a minute. Okay, so we'll come across the street. That kind of keeps it more level. All right, now we'll freeform it. And kind of hook it this way with one click down before we do that. And that looks much smoother as well. I like that. Because it was mounting up for whatever reason. So using the snapping options and changing it to the smaller uh, snaps can be, can make a really big difference. And then, you know, click down once in the middle and make your, uh, make your slopes that much smoother. So we'll have these commercial businesses move back in. Now we gotta figure out where we going with this Metro tunnel. So. It would be nice. We've got to stop right now over here at the Metro bus hub, bringing people into the city with the bus. I actually see a coach coming this way right now. There we go. So people getting in and out of the city that way, that is connected to a Metro station in the building, which goes over here, over the water, comes up to this above ground station. And then we've tunneled it back underground and I think it might be good to have a stop somewhere over here in the industrial area. But we could also kind of swing it up this way and put one up here. I think that might be good. Let's let's do that. Because that really enables a lot of connectivity across our city at that point. Is that snapping correctly?
So we can come all the way down here and just curve it at the last minute. If it lets me think that. No, that's that is a terrible curve. I guess if I do the curved tool rather than the freeform tool, it'll bend it the way I'm thinking that should bend. I think. Let's see. Let's see if that handles it differently. I think it does. Oh, yeah, it does. Okay, so before we go in there, I think you can add to a line, but I just break it all the time. So let's go look at what Metro's doing. 412 passengers on two stops. That's not bad. That's, you know, it's 500 people that aren't getting in cars between here and there. And what is that doing for our traffic? 87. We're slowly creeping down, but we've done almost nothing to manage it. You know, we're... we're Dumping stuff off the highway to a roundabout goes one of three directions. Over here is where things really slow down. This is bringing down the traffic for the entire city. And we and we know that. This is just this is four lanes of highway slamming into a, a four-way intersection. Four lanes, two roads each way. It, it There's just a ton of traffic happening right here. And this is responsible for most of that slowdown. Most of the 13% slowdown is right there. So we're trying not to add too much more stuff over here you know hopefully we're hopefully we're doing pretty good on that front areas wise so where can we go this is our first area so we can go up to we can't buy any further north than that i'm still i'm still really stumped here so i feel like the city should go that way right we should use all this if we can so let's see what going that way would be for areas. So we would definitely want that one. And we would definitely want that one. And probably that one. So one, two, three, four, five. That gets us two tiles with shipping connections. We've already got rail on our tile, on our uh, map. So we've got we've got everything right. If we come over to one of these, this one obviously makes the most sense. But I think we would do this one also, and I think we would build up over there. But we could kind of use these this tree line, kind of a natural separation. Say you know we're gonna build just up here in the diagonal, but but then I think we have this kind of weird area right here that isn't gonna be populated. So I think we kind of have to buy north of here. So if that's the case, one, one, two, three, four, five for sure. And then, you know, do, do we build over here? I don't know. It's kind of, it's separate. It's on the other side of the river. It's almost kind of a, I mean, the whole map is a swamp land, right? Isn't this the, is this the swamp lands? I forget which one I'm building on, but anyway, it, it's relatively is relatively flat it's not bad building space but i don't know let's let's stop talking about it and let's let's buy something at least we know we're gonna buy i'm really sure about these three that would be five six seven eight <sighs> not having that tip of that island really bothers me let's go over this way let's let's start building and thinking out over here so now we have new highway we can hit we can come into this area we can create some kind of connector maybe underneath um, or to like this back road to link this up in a couple spots but this will give us some nice flat space to have maybe an actual uh, downtown area so we'll stamp down some more offices and things and on a very small section of it we won't do the high-rise ban which we've done uh, everywhere else so it's about as tall as the buildings are going to get. The the offices are the extreme example of how tall they can get with uh, that decoration on that they, they shouldn't have any uh, high rises. So over here, nice thing about this is we got a lot of flat space to build with. Whoa, that that level of detail pop in right right there, huh? <laughs> wow, console. Um, <laughs> man, that's pretty rough. Uh, so this gives us a couple things. Good highway access, good shipping access. And there's a, a train junction right here, little little T junction for the uh, the highway, the, the highway, the train network that's around the area. Did I ever reconnect that, by the way? I did not, because we haven't dropped a train station in yet. Okay, 
that that makes sense so one thing is we'll have to break we'll have to break a bit of highway so let's we got 274 in the bank let's let's do a a highway exit over here we'll just kind of do kind of a basic t intersection because this isn't this isn't as zonable this is a little rougher over here to build on so we might do something small we'll we'll connect maybe a an overpass or an underpass for the highway but for right now let's see what kind of space we're working with here uh what i'm gonna do is let me we got the money let's drop in a t and then we'll modify it i think or we could drop it in and, and just deal with it let's do this that should be enough space Not quite snapping where I want. <laughs> like, yeah, you got the angle right when you're snapped to the railroad, which you can't snap to. Like, that's perfect. Awesome. Thank you. Come on. Really? Let's try and snap to the bottom road. If we do this. Straight tool, ground. What is that? What is that angle? That's straight off of that road? Is that road really that that crooked? Who did this? Who the heck did this? All right, well, if we want to fix that, we come off a node. Come 90 degrees. Go back to highways. And then hopefully we can... Man, what is up with that? All right, well, I won't worry about it too much. <laughs> Let's just put it in the middle and not snap it to it. Can I get this out of here? Come on. Come, come on. Do you see this? What is going on? That's weird. Okay. All right, bulldozer, you want to be difficult? A bulldozer, the bulldozer. Speaking of the bulldozer, we haven't dropped a casino in our town in a while. Um, might be, might be time for that soon. Can we? Come on. All right, this is what you get for using pre-made intersections, mouse. Um, let's clean this up. Let's let's do this right. This is a this is something something is a mess over here. Something is not right. Let's go into regular roads. We'll, we'll come off of this one. This one's fine. We'll use we'll use that as our gauge. That looks okay. It's defined a straight path. Come to about there. Yes, yeah, so you see that? That's good. We can see, and when you build with these roads, you can see with the grid kind of where things get, where things start getting funky. So let's come back a couple. We'll drop the freeform tool in we'll come out to that yellow truck or so before we hook it and then we can do the same thing we'll come out right around that yellow truck use some kind of a gauge on the screen and then you should have a relatively smooth hook if you don't like how this is hooking in delete a segment or two on either side and then just do that same thing again freeform it and, and smooth it out that's weird. I'm actually going to come from this one. Let's do that. We'll come out to maybe the green truck. Let's see how that... Yeah, that works all right. So that slope looks a little bit better now, right? Not a cheap project here. We've got a ton of residential demand. It might be nice to move in some uh, a little bit of high density before the end of the episode. So let's do this. Let's kind of frame this out. So what snapping are we on? We're on full snap. We'll go straight. We're going to build some straight segments first. So we're going to come right there. We'll leave space for two. Right there. That's our that's our highway. That's our overpass. So now let's go to snapping options. 
and we'll go to the, the smallest elevation step because we want to keep things as smooth as we can. So we'll come out, I don't know, five units or so. And I'm going to click down once and then kind of put this at a 90 degree angle as close as I can. Better to go under than over for the hook that I want to do. But I'd like to get it as close to 90 degrees as possible. And then we'll start to come back towards the highway just a little bit. One click down. Straighten out and run parallel a little bit. One click down. And then we'll hook it in way back here. Oh, I did that. I did that wrong. I totally did that wrong. This is the one that should be hooking up. Never mind. Scrap all that. Ready? Okay. Take two. Delete. Uh, <laughs> that was a mess. We're still using regular roads. That's fine. This one needs to hook back to get people on to the highway going this way. So we'll come out a little bit on this one. We need to hook it back. Can we, can we do this? Is this gonna be too tight? We could do that. It's gonna slow things down a bit, but it'll work. And then we come out and around. So we'll go out to like, I don't know, 10 units or so. Sort of do that before we Oh, that's going to be highway too. That's going to be a wider road. I got to remember that. So let's do that. We'll do that. Where can we get a nice smooth slope? That works. Good enough. Little, it's a little, wow. Okay. That's a little wonky right there. Well, it, yeah, fix it later. Let's get some people moved. In. Okay. So that is that way. We'll go back to our straight tool so we get a little bit more control over the length of our slopes. Let's see how that looks. One click and then a double. I can I can deal with that. So on the smallest elevation step, I came out 10 units, one click down, and then we did two clicks for this piece. Oh no! So the ground's a little lopsided there. I think we'll do that. So now for the traffic coming off the highway this way. We'll have them kind of merge up with. Let's have them start ramping up. We'll freeform it and we will again come up and start running parallel. I gotta remember to come out a little further because this is gonna be highway. Let's upgrade some of these roads before <laughs> before I forget. So let's upgrade our let's upgrade our highway first. It's a lot easier to build with these, but then you got to make sure that you're kind of spacing things out to allow <laughs> stuff like that to happen. So we'll need to rework that. That one was, was super wonky anyway, so we'll, I'm fine with that. Why did that reverse the direction all of a sudden like that? Is it based on where I'm clicking? So if I click on the, let's see, I, I have I figured this out? If I click on the left side of this, Okay, that, that does what I thought it would do. If I click on the right side of this, is this gonna make it opposite direction? What if I click from the other side? Yeah, I don't know why I decided to change upgrade direction in the middle of all that. Okay, and it did it there too, okay. 
Not sure. Okay. Let's clean this up. So let's see. This would be single lane highway. So we'll go back to our freeform tool. We should be on single elevation step we are. Can we get in there? Can we get? We could come out this way and back around the highway. <laughs> ah. All right, let's get our on-ramp straight tool. Get it as close to the highway as we can. We use the nodes that are already there so we don't make new ones. This should let us, yeah, sneak a road just underneath. do that it's gonna be a really sharp corner I didn't come up enough to allow me to really smooth this out any better so see what we can do come up just a little bit to come down Ugh. <laughs> uh, this is why this is why I don't do this um, on console specifically, right? Um, I'm not good at it, and I bet a lot of other people aren't either because we don't have the tools that we need to make this kind of stuff work. Why? Why can I not? I understand move. It's really complex, right? Move, move. It can do a ton of stuff and I totally understand how it can break the game, but let's talk about like a really simple mechanic here that, that you could potentially bring over from move it. They have like a line height and a line slopes. What don't even give me the ability to align to something else, but let me take that, that road pillar, right? And within reason, you know, let me let me raise and lower it just like I would, you know, a regular white. Let me grab this, right? And, and let me dip this one down just once, right? So that that's a little bit smoother. Um, we could try and reconnect this because I think we've got the clearance that we need. Is that any smoother? No, it isn't because I didn't dip there, right? We got to make more room for this. We're not. We're not going to fix this today. I'm because I'm. I'm not good at this. This is what. This is why I don't do this. Um, I don't mind tweaking an intersection on cons on uh, computer with move it. It's it's no fun. It's no fun. I and I like to show everything that I do, but sometimes, in this case, I'm not particularly proud of what I'm doing. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Upgrade. Uh, so we need to hook this one in where people can get off that way. And then we need to provide a way to get on going this way. Okay. Easy enough. Not how I was expecting to spend today's video. We'll come up one click. We still didn't upgrade that. So let's remember that we got to save a little bit of room. Maybe we'll come down to there. And then let's do a little bit of upgrading. So this is going to be two lanes. And then all this other stuff is going to be one lane exit. Seriously. Four. 
freeform. Hook it into there. So that one lane, one lane becomes two lanes. Okay. And then right about at the same spot, we'll... So if I had moved this out more, right? If I'd give myself more room, I could have hooked this around a little smoother to get back on there. And since we're not really zoning up too much over here, we will do that at a later point. But um, we don't have the train station in yet, so we can't fix that. Let's change our directions and double check what's going on over here. So this is still two lane road. Let's upgrade all that. And then we will change our directions. Oi, change direction. Okay. I was like, what, why is it not letting me do that? And it, it was, it just wouldn't let me upgrade the road to the same road. Uh, this, why is this all backwards? Okay, so the highway is good. Coming this way, we can go right to get off the highway. Coming this way, we can go right to get off the highway. And then over here, we have our choice, right? So I can go straight if I want to hook around to go left. Or I can go right to get on the highway that way. Uh, let's see. So this should be single lane highway upgrade. That is single lane already okay so we're good there uh and then let's just two lane this for mathematics sake and then let's three lane down here and we're going to roundabout um sorry if it's not exciting but it manages the traffic pretty well so what we'll do we'll come out even a little bit further so we can kind of center this right, right smack in the middle I don't like the angle it's giving me. We'll do nine. All right, so we've got three lane roundabout. We'll go back to our two lane highway and freeform this in. This part, this part I got down. This is, this I'm fine with. Making a roundabout work? Sure. So uh, here with the lane mathematics, right? We wanna downgrade this uh, because we've got two lanes. Hopefully people aren't making a return around. So the, the minority of traffic hopefully will need to come back around. So we have one lane that returns, two lanes that get on the highway. Two lanes coming off plus the one lane is three. So we're just going to do that kind of wherever we, we break things, uh, wherever we break things off. So let's real quick. Let's see space and size wise. I kind of feel like we should go this way. We should kind of go a 90 degree off of that. And maybe this is kind of our big fancy downtown strip. Right, that's kind of a good spot for it. A nice big open area. Uh, we'll go as, I guess, as close to the city limits as we can for now. We'll do something like that. And then I'm gonna break the last segment here so that we can do two lanes, free form, and do what we just did before, which is to kind of hook this into the roundabout. So we could do that. I think what we want to do on the exit here. No, you know, I'm going to keep it two lanes for now because this is where the bulk of the traffic is going to be anyways. And we'll do the same thing. If, if you're sticking, if you're sticking on the roundabout, you're going to have the kind of the, the internal left lane. 
to work with. Um, over here, let's get a couple streets off of this. So we don't want them too close, right? We want to space them out from the intersection. We're going to come down uh, three nodes, 30 units. And let's make that kind of our first big intersection. We're going to have a train track coming through here. So we'll go to like, what, 25, 35. The, the big lines appear at, at five. So when I come out five units, that big line appears. When I go to that, that's 10. And again, we'll just kind of work our way over to the city limits for now, where it will let us. And I don't know why, I, I, I mean, I do know why. It makes some of the node generation a little bit more sensical. I try and stick to the, the lines or the halfway points. The game just calculates the spacing of the nodes better. You've ever, if you ever see me kind of fussing with, you know, the difference between placing that road and that road, that, you know, that that's why I'm jumping back and forth to one of those is it makes the nodes a lot easier to space and, and build other grids off of. Um, again, I'm going to come down here kind of as close to the city limits as it will let me. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to build another road off of that road. I forgot about that. Just just now going against my own policies. Now, here's where things kind of break, right? We're going to have to basically move that node because I'd like to get some pedestrian paths in behind here. Move something like that. We'll come all the way down here. Maybe we have a little park or some city services kind of tucked away down there. Uh, speaking of, 212000 in the bank. We're going to do a little bit of a bigger area here. So let's get serious about how we're going to cover that. If we do 60,000 a piece on fire, hospital, um, what's the other one? Police. <laughs> uh, that's 180,000 of our $212,000 right now. So economy wise loans. We don't, we don't have a lot of money for that. So We'll upgrade these. Let's let's start small. We'll save some space. How big is the big hospital in comparison? So it's another four blocks deep. All right. So we'll try not to zone there. Uh, we'll come over to police and fire and do the same thing. <sighs> okay, I've made this mistake before. Move that way. We'll do the same thing for the uh, the ambulances. Right. Uh, if you don't know, and I, I've mentioned this before, I think uh, multiple times this season, but if I have it facing the other way and the fire department needs to go that way for a fire, they have to go all the way down that way until they can get to a turn because they can't turn across the median. So by putting them on the side streets, yeah, maybe they have to wait for a traffic light, but they're immediately at this intersection where they can decide kind of which which way do they go. Uh, we'll do that with the small police station also. And then let's get out in front of this. This is going to be our next big neighborhood. So um, let's get some... You know what? We'll do some schooling because it's not... That's not a school. We'll do some schooling because it's not as expensive to move these. So this will kind of buffer some space for us where we won't forget. Now, do we spend half that money on another university up here? I think that we do because the other one is way over here by the metro. Yeah. So we could do another one over here because we're going to have a, a higher density of population. We don't have to travel over here. Can we get that in between that block? We can. That's not bad. We could do that. Let's do that. I'm going to get a couple streets in here and then we're going to start moving some people in. And I think, I think we got to call it a day. I've, I spent way too much time on that, that highway interchange. Unfortunately, I'm going to bring this down to here. It's a little closer than Actually, you know what? No, I'm not, because that's going to be way too close if we do another Y split like this. So never mind. Never mind that. Just for spacing, 
Like we want to come up to maybe that one. That could be our cross street. If that lines up, that does. That works. We'll, up, we'll fix all that later. We'll upgrade that later. Let's get a, uh, a cross street through here. So people don't need to go all the way through. These nodes line up, so we'll work with those. And maybe we'll get a little crooked right here. Just because. Just because we can. And maybe we'll connect the end of the street. So there's a little something that way also. Now for this one, we're going to go high density. Let's see. We'll do all this in high density. That piece too. This piece. I have no idea what this zoning is. But let's do a little high density commercial on the end there. We'll do a little high density. Well, it's always high density, right? The office. <laughs> so, but residential is by far our biggest demand right now. So let's do this. We're not going to fill in quite over here because this is going to be maybe more commercial sector. Uh, get a couple streets in back here. We've got money. Build a couple more roads. I think I can come out all the way to that. And to that, and we may as well connect that through for now. So what I'm going to do here is let's stamp this zoning down. Got some people living off on the edge of the map. Commercial is our next biggest demand. So we'll do another commercial strip down here. We've got that block of office, which should meet our demands. And this should also be a really encouraging place for people to move in because it already has city service coverage. The Sims love that. Absolutely love it. They go bananas for it. So let's play three times speed and we'll get some water and power over here while we wait. Man, that's a hike, huh? Let's see. How's this going to line up best? Maybe from back here. Let's do this. We'll take it into right about there. We'll just make sure all this is covered as as best we can. Saving? Okay, good. The autosave freaks me out every time because I think it's lagging. I mean, technically it is, right? <laughs> but it feels I always feel like it's about to crash or something. I don't think those people would complain, but but let's be safe. And then we'll come down here. We may as well bring the water up that way, get things connected a little bit redundantly. In case there's a natural disaster that we turn on later. Probably the biggest natural disaster we might face is the new bulldozer tool. If I accidentally get a little uh, a little happy with that one. Uh, power. Let's get some power over here. Uh, I did not stamp down high rise ban yet, but they're not going to, buildings aren't going to upgrade that fast, right? Hold on. Wait a second. Let's make sure. Let's make sure just in case we put too much service coverage there and we do actually uh, upgrade them. So we'll call this something for now. Still don't have a mouse. I know I'm familiar with my channel name. Thank you. Before you rush down to the comments. Move the mouse using a controller. Just for certain, for certain games on console, absolutely. Uh, I am a big keyboard and mouse fan in the right context um this game on console is not that context i do appreciate that they've added that in if you're new to the game keyboard and mouse support can be uh a big time saver it could be a lot easier to adapt to if you played city builders on pc before but i played so much of this i'm used to it and i don't think the the particular mapping and adaptation is that great for what they did uh i'm gonna bring this on the far side of the highway just kind of bring it this way for now we'll clean these up make them a little a little better down the road can you you let me will you let me snap right in the middle that would be nice of you that would be appreciated no okay let's just try and go over and we'll connect them okay It'd be difficult 
There we go. So we should have power and water. We defined a district. We didn't do man squirrel moments. We didn't make sure. I think if we go into policies, because it's set citywide, high rise band is already on. Good. So here we go. We've got some high density happening. Um, we'll do like one or two blocks, maybe a, like a big block of stuff that is not high rise band, just so it kind of pops out in certain spots. Um, but this is kind of going to kind of be our bigger downtown area, but it's still, I, I'm, I'm still shooting for kind of a smaller town feel on this one. So, um, you know, whatever, whatever's right for your build, right? You can do anything you want. You can do a big, massive set of grids. You can do curvy roads everywhere. You can do all low density, all high density, mix it in any way you want. It's your city. You're the mayor, whatever works for you. We're going to have to replace those train tracks at some point. Actually, let me do one thing before we go. 16,000. We'll get there. We will maybe time lapse a little bit of a... I'll probably just continue this grid a little bit. It is going to be the bigger downtown area. This part is going to be more grid based, a little less flowing, a little less tied into the terrain. You know, things, things felt definitely a little looser over here in certain spots. But we'll tighten it up to do uh, kind of a grid over here. But we will kind of bend it and fold it into other grids as we get over to the waterways. We got to think about what tiles we're going to Hey, uh, glad I checked this before we signed off, huh? So roads change direction. Okay, now that's now that's set. Somebody probably saw that like 20 minutes ago when I was finishing that, and they were like, "What? what are you doing? You went down in the comments and you told me. So if you stay tuned this long... And you didn't switch off because, man, this guy's an idiot and he doesn't even know about road directions. Um, and you left a comment and you're still here. Then, you know, by all means, edit the comment or say, hey, at least you caught it. I don't know. What, I'm out of ideas. All right. Well, go. We caught that little mistake before uh, before the end of the episode. Back in the cinematic camera to say thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, check back for new videos. I'm shooting for Wednesdays and weekends right now. It's just it's it's reality it's life uh, uh i want to get back to the monday wednesday fridays we'll do it when we can hopefully you enjoyed today's video if you did like comment and share every one of them helps the channel a lot more than you know subscribe if you're new consider hitting the bell to get notifications for updates in this and other series follow me on twitter join the discord if you want to get involved in the discussion if you want to support the channel there's links to that along with all those other things in the description down below but until the next one do we, do we have another fire-free episode? Hold on a second. I was just going to say goodbye. We had another fire-free episode. I don't see any big patches of trees missing. I don't see any buildings calling for help. I mean, there might have been, you know, a little, a little fire here or there. But, uh, but yeah, hey, what do you know? That is not cinematic camera. Anyways, I was, I, I was just about to sign off. Uh, I just wanted to see if anything was burning in the background as I said that. Uh, that would have been just too rich. But we're, we're getting lucky here. I don't know. Did they tune something down in the game? Um, are you having less fires you see? Let me know in the comments down below. Hopefully we'll have less fires unless that's what you're here for. Uh, then... Maybe we'll have more fires. I don't know. Stay tuned. I'm sure it's going to come back to bite me. But anyways, I was signing off. Until the next one from the town of Swamp Scott. It's better than it sounds. This is Move the Mouse. Signing off. Literally the second I stopped recording. <laughs> <laughs>